All right, we have the Flower Power Bakery makes 300 cheesecakes at a cost of $2.25 each. If a spoilage rate of 3% is anticipated, at what price should the cakes be sold to achieve a 30% markup based on cost? Lots of parts to this. Well, the first thing we need to do is figure out what the total cost is. So the total cost would be the number of cheesecakes times the price of one cheesecake. So that'll be $675. And then next we want to mark this up. So we would take 675 and mark up by 30%. So times 0.3 which is my 30 percent. So 675 times 0.3 I get two hundred and two dollars and fifty cents. So we add those two values together and you should get eight hundred and seventy seven dollars and fifty cents. So that's your markup and now what we want to do to find the actual price Okay, what price here is we're going to take this value, the $877.50, okay, because that's our cost with our markup, and we're going to divide it by the number of units we would get. Now, you might want to say, well, that's 300, but you also have to take into account the spoilage, so we have to subtract those out. So the number that's going to be spoiled is 3% of 300, which is actually 9, 177.50. So in other words, they're going to throw away 9 of these cheesecakes are going to be spoiled. And so I'm going to end up with $877.50 divided by two hundred and ninety one dollars so eight seventy seven I'm sorry two hundred ninety one cheesecakes and if I if I divide that I get three point oh one five or about three dollars and two cents is what they is the price the cake should be sold at to achieve this thirty percent and to actually lose nine due to spoilage.